Is it possible to get vocally fit singing one hour a day for 28 days? That's the experiment I'm doing, and this video is why I'm doing it and how the process unfolds. Now, will I need the full 28 days? Is 28 days enough? Well, as I'm filming this introduction, <laughs> I've no idea. Hi, I'm Scott. You're watching Inside Musicals, the channel for all things musical theatre. Now, some years ago, I made a conscious shift from performing to composing, but I still did quite a few solo gigs, just me and a piano. When my dad went into aged care, I taught myself ukulele, uh, so I could go and sing with him a couple of days a week. But when the world shut down a few years ago, the gigs dried up, when my dad died, I just stopped singing. And I haven't really sung seriously since. Now, it's not like I've forgotten how to sing, but I'm not as vocally fit as I was. I don't have the same control or stamina. But because I've pledged to perform more on the channel this year, I want to feel confident in that. So I want to get my voice back up to speed, or as we might say in a theatre, to get show fit. Now, I'm not going to make you sit through 28 hours of me singing, but I am going to keep a video diary and I'll make comments along the way. I'll set some benchmarks on day one, some objective, like range, some subjective, like how it feels, and we'll compare that to day 28. Let's start the clock. A chair is still a chair Even when there's no one sitting there Walk along through the wind Walk on through the rain Rain See, even the D after just a couple of minutes of singing, I can feel that those top notes are just not there. And even the notes that would normally be there are feeling tired. So the D, E feel harder than they might normally feel. In these dreams I've loved you so That by now I think I know What it's like to be loved by you That F is just not there now. This is so depressing. So depressing. Well, that's interesting. I've just been singing for about an hour, fairly intensely, particularly with an emphasis on the top of my range, because I know I've got something coming up in a couple of weeks where I'll need that part of my voice. Uh, so I'm feeling kind of tired. I don't feel hoarse at all. I feel like I could keep singing, but I can feel the muscles had a workout. And it was a real stretch to get to those top notes. So my range when, I'm, when I was doing scales was from a C sharp at the bottom to an F sharp at the top. But it was really only a stable note from about the D to an F, so just under two and a half octaves. Um, and I should be able to sing from a C up to about a G sharp, so I've lost some notes from my range. So I need to claw to work some of those back. My falsetto is from about a B to an A, so just under an octave. Um, it took about 40 minutes to feel like my voice was really in a groove, that I felt like I had consistent breath and tone, and it was kind of flowing. The interesting thing was, notes felt very different in different songs. So in You'll Never Walk Alone, for instance, that goes up to a G, and I couldn't quite reach the G. Toward the end of it, it sits on a C for a little while, and that tired me so quickly that I could barely even hold that C if I tried it a second time. Whereas Old Man River, that also goes up to a G, and I couldn't also get the G, but I could get the F, it builds up to it more gradually, and so I was seeing those Cs, the Ds, the E flats, and the F. So I think, I think that was the takeaway of today. My voice is just tiring very quickly. I can take a few minutes and those notes come back, but if they repeat in a song too close together, they're just not there. And that's a worry. Now, day one was kind of frustrating and dispiriting. So I'm coming into day two with a game plan. Because the goal is to strengthen the voice, I'm not even gonna think about subtlety or expression at this point. I'm gonna push the tone hard, push the volume, not so much to stress the voice, but to find consistency throughout my range and placement. Um, and I'm gonna focus on ballads, so the songs are slow enough for me to make adjustments on each syllable. Loving one who loves you And then taking the 
vow Nice work if you can get it And if you get it Won't you tell me Okay, so the songs that were difficult yesterday were difficult again today. So I'm gonna make them part of my benchmark. So whatever else I sing through the process, I'm gonna sing those songs and compare them at the end, both to how they sound and how difficult or easy they are. Let's go to day three. World completely new when love walked in with you. For once in my life I have someone who needs me. If your heart is in your dream, no request is too extreme. When you wish upon a star as dreamers do, and so it seems. That we have met before and loved before and loved before, but who knows where or when? I love all of you. Okay. Day seven. So on the upside, I feel like my voice is in the groove much faster. I'm warming up to feel more efficient within about 20 to 25 minutes, which is faster than day one. On the downside, those top notes are still evading me and I'm still getting tired just in that upper part of the range if notes linger there for any period of time. And it worries me, not for the 28 days, but because I've got to sing at a friend's funeral in a couple of days and both of the songs are just outside of my range. Let's see. In time the Rockies may crumble, Gibraltar may tumble, they're only made of clay. Our love is here to stay. Okay, day 10. I feel like I've finally crossed the threshold. I'm kind of sailing up to that F, F sharp G when I need it. And the notes just below it of that C, D, E that were tiring me out if they repeated in a song earlier, um, I'm able to maintain. So I feel like I've got a bit more stamina. Now I still don't have the control that I want. I still need to use a lot of breath support and kind of a full body tone, but I'm hoping that's maybe the next step I can get to of using a lighter tone on those high notes and still maintaining their integrity. It's progress. Somewhere over the rainbow Skies are blue And the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true uh, so i've just come home from seeing at a friend's funeral uh, now both of the songs as of a few days ago were just out of my range but singing in a formal style i managed to just pinch out those top notes they're pretty no but they were there i sustained them and i think i got away with it so progress is peccatoribus no get in hora in hora modis nostre amen amen 
Like anyone, I don't always have an hour a day to sing. And I can't sing late at night because I live in a small country town where sound carries. But I can sing along to karaoke tracks while I do other things. I'm at my lazy table with my lazy chair. Well, I'm a lazy fellow, but I just don't care Cause now I'm lazy Then lazy will do But now I wanna be lazy with you Now by this point, I was feeling more vocally coordinated, shall we say. So I ventured beyond ballads into something a bit more playful with some rhythm and swing. Why stir up memories, been invited on dates Might have gone, but what for? It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing do I 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 Then the simple secret of the plot Is just to tell them that I love you a lot As my book ends How to make two lovers a friend You get the idea. Let's cut to the results. So here we are, day 28, and I've definitely made some gains. Singing scales, I can now get to a B at the bottom up to an A flat at the top. So I added a whole tone at either end of the range. But when I factor in falsetto, which is now up to a C sharp from an A, I've gone from about almost a two and a half octave range to just over three, which is not bad for 28 days. The songs are not so clear cut. Yes, in some songs I can sustain that G I was looking for, but I still have to rest the voice if I want to do it over and over again. It's that mid to high part of the voice where I hear the biggest difference. The notes sound more accessible and open because I'm not straining so much to reach them. Now, is there still room for improvement? Yes, of course, but if I compare day one. What it's like to be loved by you. How I love. To day 28. In these dreams I've loved you so That by now I think I know What it's like to be loved by you sounds a little easier. Now, I think the one big mistake I made was just grabbing a bunch of music and sight reading every day. And I think I limited my gains by splitting my focus between piano and the voice, and essentially starting from scratch on each song. So if I were to do it over again, I would limit the repertoire, I'd commit each song to memory, and I'd build each one to performance level. So what can we learn from this? Well, if like me, you haven't sung in a while, a couple of days is not going to get you ready for a performance or an audition. But if you're rehearsing a show, four to six weeks is ample time to get show fit. I saw my biggest gains at around that 10 to 14 day mark where I was just feeling a little stronger and beyond that the gains were more incremental. So if you try this experiment at home, leave me a comment. Let's compare experiences because yours is probably going to be quite different to mine. Now. If you've watched this far, I thank you. I do love you. In fact, you're my favourite. Just don't tell the others. Now, get out there, be brilliant.